Hmm. Where? Where am I? It's so dark in here, I can't see anything. Is someone there? Huh? Who are you? Oh, I'm just... Were you locked up in here as well? Yes. We're going to be here forever. No one's coming for us. What? What do you mean? Once he locks you in this room, he will never come for you again. That's what he told me. But that's... There's got to be a way out of here. There's a key somewhere in this room, but I've never found it. I'll look for it. It's useless. There's a window up there. You might want to open it up. Maybe I could climb up this chair. Not yet. Better not. Hmm. Okay, well, gonna have to. Wait a minute. Still pretty dark. Can't read that thing. Window. Okay. Ah. Do not trust your sight, for the truth lies beyond your reflection. Okay. Ah, the door. Locked. Mr. Sight. Ah, oh, use a pocket mirror. Reflection. There they are. Sticky. I found the keys. Let's open the door. Give them to me. Oh, hey, wait. It's back to that room. I don't want to go back in there. Okay. Hmm. more Rack's recordings to find. Yeah, I was on floor three. Locked. Hmm. Four. Hello. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I think we were on the right path for the white. The white dress lady. I just got the choice wrong, because they both look the same. Dress. There's two. Which one? Ah, so you only get a glimpse. I think they're the same. On the right. You're on the right. This was to be expected, and I knew there was a conspiracy about me. I was not expecting this from this event. I'm innocent. This girl knows nothing about. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I. Okay. Hmm. So maybe it shows the right one at the beginning? Let's see what happens when I do blue dress. I think it was the lady in blue dress. What proof might you have to support this accusation, miss? Oh, I. It's not very nice to accusate people like this. Especially when they are innocent. This is completely outrageous, and... Ah. Aha. <laughs> ah, so I'm thinking I got that right the first time. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that must have been the right choice there. Because if you get the wrong choice, you die anyway. An old telephone rests unused, its cord leading nowhere. I look troubled, miss. Is something wrong? What do you mean? You seem to be hesitating. That is no good, little girl. You mustn't doubt yourself, this is your time to move forward. What are you talking about, Pumpkin? Never mind, this is just one old Pumpkin's rambling speech. It's pretty quiet around here, isn't it? Hmm. Locked door? Yep. Okay. The statue of a smiling chair was planted in the center of the parlor, its surface completely smooth. You can hear a strange noise coming from the right wall. A painting of a red rose, its image distorted by the shattered frame's glass. Hmm. I can hear a strange noise coming from the right wall. Okay. The other room. Day and night? Oh. What is this? The statue of a mutilated chair breasts on a pool of blood. I wonder who did this. I can hear a strange noise coming from the left wall. Okay, same thing. Hmm. 
left wall. I have a feeling. Uh huh. What is the sound? This wall is hollow. Rip it off. Ah, ooh. Ooh. Our pay! Our pay, are you alright? Yeah, of course I am. What happened? Are you hurt? No, not at all. I am fine, miss. There's no need to worry. But you don't seem fine to me. Let me help you, Harpe. Can you stand? I told you I'm fine. I just wanted to help you. Leave me be. I can do this on my own. Oh, Buster, don't help her. You sure? I can help if you need me to. Yes, I am. Please stand back, little miss. I would very much appreciate it if you didn't underestimate me, my girl. I'm sorry, Harpe, I was just worried. Where have you been all this time? I told you not to wander around by yourself. Why do you keep disobeying me? I'm... I just... Yo, Butts, you've been running away from me since you've got here. How do you think that makes me feel? I... I'm sorry, Harpe. No, I... I'm sorry. I won't do it anymore. I'm sorry. It's alright, miss. You're safe and sound now. Everything is how it should be. You don't look so well. I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Harpe. I see. Oh, wait. I didn't mean it like that. No, it's alright. I know exactly what you meant, my girl. Harpe, I... Oh, then let's go. It's getting quite late. We should hurry. Uh, alright. But before we do, there's something I want to ask of you. What is it? I want to hold your hand to make sure you don't get lost again. May I? Sure. Of course. Thank you, miss. What happened? Hmm? Is something wrong? I, uh, I don't know. What do you mean? Is everything alright? Yes. Perhaps you're just tired. Come, let's go to my room. We still have quite a bit to catch up on. Your room? Yes. You seem to be tired, and I think you could use a good rest. I... I'd also like to brush your hair once we get there, too, if that's alright with you. Huh? My hair? Yes, I remember it. It's such a beautiful color. Oh, then let's go. E. Okay. Arpey, can I ask you something? Yes, of course. Are you hiding something from me? No, I'm not. Everything I do is for your own good, my girl. I wish you wouldn't question my actions. Something the matter, Harpe? You've been looking at me for a while. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just appreciating the fact that we're together, that's all. I'm sorry, I must have bothered you. Oh, Harpe, it's all right. You're too uptight sometimes. I think you should worry less about some things. You're right, my girl, thank you. Harpe, isn't it dangerous for you to be in this mansion all by yourself? It can be, yes. That's why I don't come here often. You see. Harpe, can I ask you something? Yes, of course. Are you hiding something from me? Uh... Ah, that's a repeat. Okay. Rusty chandelier rests in pieces, completely torn apart. Better to pieces, the once fancy looking lamp lies in shambles. Old mismatched furniture rests forgotten in the corner. Pierced by a pair of golden scissors, the chessboard lies shattered on the ground. Hmm.
several porcelain plates rest on a completely shattered on the wooden floor. Painting of a group of people carrying a small coffin to a lake. There are so many strange paintings in this place. They've been here for a long time, I don't know them all. You see. Hmm. Two dolls rest next to each other, one of them with part of its head completely crushed. Hmm. Everything alright? Ah, yes. An old cage rests empty in the corner, its surface covered in a thick layer of dust. There's so much junk. Yes, I remember having left this room rather disorganized. This is a bit more than disorganized. I'm aware of that, miss. Sorry. That is fine, now let us hurry. Hmm. Well, this wasn't here before. Hey, Darpe, let me help you. Oh no, I'm fine. I remember this room like the palm of my hand. But... Let me just make some room for us to go through. It won't take long. Hmm. Why are things so out of place? You alright? Yes, yes, I'm fine. And let's not help her. Just please be careful. There's no need to worry about me, my girl. I will get us both out of this mess, so please just wait a little bit longer. Alright. This over here. Look a charm. Push it over there. I can't, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, no other interact walls here? Okay. Yeah, I did it by myself. I was worried about you. Or pay. I was worried about you. You could have gotten hurt. Is that all? What? No, in fact, I don't want to know. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, it's nothing. I was just talking to myself. Come now, you must be tired. Or pay. Yes? No, it's nothing. Let's go then. Respite. Is something the matter, Harpe? You've been looking at me for a while. Ah, oh, it's a repeat again. <laughs> Old scraps of paper lie on the floor covered in dust. Come, miss, you should take a rest before we go any further. Oh, I... Take a rest. Yes, all right. Or pay. Yes, what is it? Perhaps you'd like some tea. Unfortunately, I can't. No, I'm fine. I'm just worried. My poor girl. 
I told you everything will be alright. There's no need for you to worry about anything. I will always be here for you. No hard pay. I'm worried about you. What do you mean? You've been acting strange. It's as if you're not the same Harpei I first met. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Have I done you wrong in any way? I... Mmm... no. You haven't done anything wrong, Harpei. I'm simply worried about your well-being, that's all. Am I not reliable? You are, that's not what I'm saying. I don't want you to get hurt, Harpei. Hurt? I, I don't want you to get hurt because of me. Unfortunately, I think it might be a bit too late by now, my girl. Then I want you to stop. Stop? You don't have to go to such lengths for me, Harpei. I do appreciate your feelings, but letting you go is something I simply cannot do. Hmm, why not? Why can't you? I don't understand what's so special about me. I just don't understand you, Harpei. Because you truly are special, my girl. You're special to me. But why? Because you are the one I have sworn to protect. You are everything to me. And as difficult as it is to live up to my role, I will keep it as my own. Your happiness is my happiness, no matter which path you choose. Harpei, this is all I ask of you, my girl. Please don't take this away from me. Thank you, miss. For what? I... all I did was upset. Oh, I'm grateful for your concern. Anyway, it's getting late. I'm sure you've had enough rest for now. Ah, yes. You truly are kind. What? Did you say anything? Oh no, I was simply talking to myself. Oh, then let's go. Surprisingly neat envelope rests on the table as it's glued to its surface. Okay, nothing about that. Sheet music lay scattered on the floor, covered in a thick layer of dust. Each by time, the words lay forgotten in a maze of phrases. As if soaked in water, the thin pages stick to each other hopelessly. As if soaked in water... okay. I think we... no, we didn't. Men and words stained by the aged paper faded beyond recognition. Hmm. This one? There's a big book here. Memories are gifts to be held dearly, as they are the remains of what once was the subject of our love. Inspiring, isn't it? I think it's somewhat sad. How so? Assuming memories are only precious and dear after the things we love are gone. I just think memories are more than events to remember. Perhaps you'd feel the same way because your own memories have disappeared, however, to me. And memories aren't necessarily joyful, nor are they something I am proud of. To be able to accept your past and come to hold it dearly is something I cannot do. But, but even so, Harpe, are your memories of me bad? Hmm. No. Of course not. To me, you are... you are the reason why I am here, standing beside you. My memories of you are my most precious belongings. They're all I have. Harpe. Anyway, let's go, shall we? Hmm. Still nothing. Last page of an unknown book. Alright. Here we are. It won't take long now, miss. Go ahead and take a seat. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Finally. I have waited this moment for so long. What do you mean? I know you would come to me, miss. We can now get some rest. I was starting to get tired. Me too. Poor thing, you must have been through so much just to get here. It will be alright now, my girl. We'll finally be able to take a good rest and perhaps get some sleep as well. Yes, I feel like I haven't slept in days. That's so. In that case, I will make sure to pamper you as much as you'd like. Pamper me? 
Why, yes. I will gladly prepare you a warm cup of chamomile tea, which I remember was your favorite. I'd also like to comb your beautiful long hair, if you'd allow me to. It's so delicate it could easily break. It would be better to tend to it as soon as possible. Oh, I've never paid too much attention to it. That's fine, my girl. You won't have to worry about a thing from now on, as I will take care of you. I will make sure you keep yourself safe from harm. I am here by your side, and I always will be. Our pay? Look, we're almost there. You and I belong together, my precious gu- What's going on? I don't know. Please keep calm. I'm sure- Ooh. What happened? Arpe, Arpe, are you okay? Arpe, answer me. I'm fine. I presume you're alright. Did you get hurt anywhere, my girl? I'm completely fine. How about you? Can you stand? Yes, I'm alright. Come now, I'll help you stand. Mmm, hold your hand. Thank you, Harpe. Are you sure you're alright? Yes, I'm fine. Where are we? Hmm. Uh, Harpe? Hmm. Harpe, where are we? I'll find a solution. Nope. We're stuck. Hmm. Harpe? I'll get us out of here. I'll take care of it. Our pay! Our pay, stop! They're not closing. Our pay? Peel. I'll be alright, don't worry. We'll just have to keep going. I'm sure this will lead us somewhere. It won't lead us anywhere, my girl. There's nothing for us out there. Why do you say that? Let's just stay here for the time being. Nothing good will come out of wandering around. But we can't just stay here. This is an order, miss. Hmm. Harpe, I can't just sit here and wait. But you will. No, Harpe. I'm sorry, but I can't. Where do you think you're... Where am I? Come back here. Please don't leave me alone. Where are you going? Our pay. Come back with me, miss. Uh oh. It's upside down. Our pay, come with me. I can't. I have to. Our pay. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, it's a flute. A little flute. Three. Red flute. Ah, oh, scissors. Flute. Ooh. Paper there. Four little pipers lived in the city, playing their songs with merry gladness. All evil was thrown away by their song, and everyone was filled with happiness. 
But evil is stronger than song, and the Pipers pushed their luck, for when everyone least expected was the time that disaster struck. One of the Pipers bled out, while the other was caught by the plague, another was struck by thunder, and the last one drowned in the lake. And so, evil took a hold of the land, spreading ruin and madness. The song of the Pipers silenced forever, and everyone was filled with sadness. Hmm. Black Flute. Hmm. First hole. Ah. Do, 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 do. That's supposed to do that. Okay. That sounds a lot like the song. Key Hall already has a key. Uh, that was the wrong one, so... Red. No, I think it's... Probably how I picked it up. No. Black? Blue, red, I think. No. Oh, maybe. Blue, red. No. All right, how's the story? Hmm. Ah. Yep, it was that. It worked. I can go get hard pay now. Ah. There's no need for any of that, my girl. Hard pay!
I believe I told you not to leave me. Or pay, I just... Why did you leave me? Hmm. Why are you here, miss? Answer me. I... I just... Why? After all I've done for you, my girl. Or pay. Tell me, miss, was it something I did? No, I... Is it something I said? Or pay, that's not it. What is it, then? Why do you avoid me? Why did you leave me? Or pay, please. Why did you reject me? Or pay, stop. Am I that insignificant to you? No. Am I that insignificant to you, my girl? No. And what am I? What am I to you? You're my friend. I'm just trying to help you. Why can't you see that? Ooh. That is not your role. That is not your role, miss. Hmm.